Hello everyone and welcome to this video on how to fill the KRA tax returns for the TSC employees. This one is an updated video from the earlier video I made in the year 2020. There has been a slight change due to the introduction of the pension contribution and that is why we have to adjust the earlier video. So without wasting any time, let's go straight to the tutorial and see how we're supposed to do it. So the first thing is to go to the KRA website uh, which is here indicated here. So itax.kra.go.ke Once you click there, this is the page that you get. So the first thing, enter the PIN or user ID, then click next. Uh, input your password, then security stamp, do that computation. And um, this one will give you 7, then click login. Uh, once you're logged in, there's so many tabs that you see here. So you're interested in the first tab here, that is um, returns, then click on file returns. Once you click there, you get something here, type this yourself. All the fields that are marked with the steric are mandatory, so these are taxpayer pin, enter the pin. Then tax obligation, here you select the first one, income tax resident individual, select the first one, then click next. Once you click next, there's something that you get here. Uh, you're not going to use uh, number one, of course, uh, click on the link. So you go directly to number five. Number five, click on submit. There are two options here. There's this first one and the second. So click the first one in order to fill using the Excel sheet. So click the first one here to download the income tax uh, individual form. That is Excel sheet. <coughs> Once you do that, uh, it will download. So let me download, then open it. Uh, when you open, you get a zip file here. So open the Excel sheet and when you open the Excel sheet, uh, this is what you get. You just uh, click here to enable the content. Uh, click OK. So this is what you should have. So there are so many parts here. There are many sheets here. Basic information, employment income, uh, details, of the, um, details of the pay deduct and so on. So we're going to start with the basic information tab. Click here then uh, the first one here you just put the personal identification number that is the pin number carry pin number so let me fill it again here I've written it somewhere here so once you fill it uh, then you go down here there is an arrow here you click it is the original one that you're filling for the first time of course and then um, the return period is uh, 1st of January uh, 2021 to 31st of December 2021 so those are the details that are required there so ensure that you have uh, filled these uh, details here they're very important uh, then from there you can go to the next tab after basic information you can click here so employment income so click uh, employment income uh, when you click employment income this is what you should get there are several parts here there's a pin of the employer is the name of the employer gross pay that is part a all these things so the first one is the pin of the employer the pin of the employer the pin of tsc is um of course this one is here you get it from the pay slip so this is where you get it from so you just need to copy it uh, here p0510 So here it is, uh, the pin is uh, somewhere here, this, this is the pin, you can see it there. So once you fill it, uh, go to the name of the employer, uh, TSC, Teacher Service Commission, you can read it like that, then the gross pay the gross pay that is part so the, the gross pay you're going to get it from here so when you open your um, taxable the, the p9 form 
you get the taxable pay so this is the gross pay that is here you can see it 603.726 so that is the figure that you should feed so let us feed that 603.726 So once you fill that, then allowances and benefits, of course, uh, this one you're going to fill nil. Then um, net value, you don't have, you don't have uh, that in your pay, P9, you just fill nil them. Then um, I don't think there's uh, anything else that you require from the tab. So you click um, the next MIG, go take the arrow to the end. So pension in excess, there's something here you need to fill nil also. Don't have that. So everything is done uh, for that part. So you fill the name of the employer. Do you see then the gross pay is there. Then there is allowances, nil. There is value of the car benefit, nil. You don't have that. Then there is the net value of the housing. Again, that you don't fill. Then the pension in excess of. So once you've done that, go to the next sheet that is uh this is the pay deducted so this is the, the sheet that you need to have so again uh, this is uh, when you click uh, that sheet you get a uh, name of the uh, this is the pin of the employer you just uh, because you had filled it you just come there then the name of the employer because that is um tsc then taxable salary uh taxable salary you get it from the p9 the taxable pay the total of the taxable pay which is here this is uh, the figure so not that figure so once you fill that uh, then go to tax payable on taxable salary here you need to be careful tax payable on taxable salary this is a, uh, some competition you're supposed to do here so to get that part you're going to take um the pay auto and stuff for that is uh, this amount that is here a pay auto this is 87 so take a calculator so so not that figure So then you're going to add uh, the MPR. This is the monthly personal relief. This is uh, total here. Add 28,800 to that. So, so once you add, this is the figure now that will be the total. That is the figure that you represent. So you've added uh, pay out a total plus the MPR value total. That should give now uh, this figure that you have here. You should give tags payable on taxable salary. That is part A. So 15831. Let me fill it. 1.35. So you feel that then amount of tax um, deducted that is a payee part B. So for the amount of the tax deducted, you are going to gain there with this payout. This is the amount of tax deducted for the whole year. Payout total. This is the figure. It's seven zero that one. So that is the amount. So once you've done, uh, you notice that this part C will be filled automatically. Why? Because you get this part C by taking A minus B. The value you got in A, which is this, then you subtract uh, the value you get in B. You notice that this one is the, the MPR value in the P9 form. It gives that MPR value. So once you've done that, 
for the Q IT payment credits, you don't, we don't have that. The TSC, so the TSC employees don't have that, so you can skip that. Then um, you go to the last one, which is the iTax computation. iTax computation. Click on iTax computation, and this is uh, what you should get uh, for that part. Now there is um, this part that is uh, very important. I want you to look at this part here. This is the one that has necessitated the change. Uh, how we feel defined pension contribution. We didn't used to have this before, but now it is there. So that is here. The place we can see here in the P9 form. You find it here. You close this. So here it is i want you to look at the total here there is a pension then there is uh, this amount that is here total amount that is here look at this amount 89.54.7 cents so that amount is the one that you're going to fill there 89.54 That is the amount you're going to fill. Then the other thing that you're going to fill is a personal relief. This this personal relief item 12.6. Uh, personal relief. Uh, the MPR here. Yeah, the MPR value is uh, this uh, 28800. So that one you're going to fill it there. 28800. And then you're done everything is now okay you can see there's a small figure here that is a tax due refund this is a small figure 65 cents so that is all that you're supposed to do to fill so we started basic information the employment income this is with uh, pay deducted we've gone that and we've come now to the end so what you're going to do now in case you have any error you'll be notified when you validate click validate and when you click validate it will take um, some few minutes or seconds i don't know why it takes so long times so it will generate a file to be uploaded now on the kra website it takes time so in case there are errors it will not um, upload the file to not generate the file to be uploaded just notify you so let's wait and see Yes, I think you have no errors. Though. So read this message. Sheets are ready to be uploaded. Do you want to generate upload file? Just click yes. Uh, once you click yes, it will show you the location where the zip file is uh, will be stored. So C program. So that is where it is. So you just uh, need to click OK. So now once you go back to the website, uh, where you are, there is something here you will notice. Now look at this upload form. Of course, the date will be filled there, the type of return and so on. So go to where you have upload form and choose. You're going to click here. So this is where you're going to click, choose file. And when you click there, you'll be directed where the file was stored. Remember the location, where the location was. Uh, the location was uh, documents then um, this this uh, zipped file me note the time uh, to avoid uh, confusion uh, I think this one I uploaded at 858 so this is the file this is the file because I cannot the time so let's double click that to open then when you select that you click um, agree the terms and conditions and submit click submit once you click submit you see do you want to upload the form then you just click ok once you click ok you will now get a message return submitted successfully with acknowledgement number so that is the acknowledgement number that you get so once you've done that everything is done so you can download this uh, receipt to see how your file return is again the same receipt will be sent to your email and that is simply how you're supposed to file the tax return. Thank you so much.